Hey guys, how are we doing today? In this uh, HostGator tutorial, I wanted to show you uh, step by step how to set up your uh, email with HostGator. If you're wanting to uh, add like email to your actual website or your blog that you're creating, you know, with HostGator, I'm going to show you how to do that step by step in this uh, video tutorial. Okay. Um, if you guys are new here to this channel for LearnerNet.com, hit the subscribe button, guys, right below along with the bell, and that way any future videos that I upload, you'll be sure to receive them. So um, this process is uh, very quick. You can do this in like five minutes or less, and I wanted to keep this as simple as possible for beginners to help you to see how to create and set up your uh, HostGator email for your business itself, okay? So the very first thing that you need to do um, is uh, just log in to your dashboard itself. You wanna get into your portal, do that. So click on that and you want to log in and right here, you're just going to plug in your email. So I'm going to do that in my case. So it's a learn a net, learn a net, if I can spell that, dot com at gmail. Oops. Great. So plug in your email, do that, learn a net dot com at gmail. That's mine. And then we're going to just plug in my password. That way you guys can follow this uh, step by step. And it's really easy. So once you get logged into the, the dashboard of your uh, account, you know, you guys will see something that looks like this, right? Great. So from here, what you want to do is just skip over to uh, where it says launch cPanel. So launch a cPanel. And what we're going to be doing here, guys, uh, with this setup is we're going to be uh, setting up free email through HostGator itself. So you don't have to pay for this at all. You don't have to sign up with like an external, um, you know, service or anything like that. This is all through HostGator itself. OK, and um, I'll also show you how you can go about redirecting your email. So if you want people to, um, you know, like grab email like from your website itself, but you want it maybe have like several websites online that you've created or thinking about creating, you know, with HostGator and you want to point like each individual um email that you're setting up all to like one like for example with me like with my websites that i have online um, i have like several websites but i have like the emails itself like forwarded to learnnet.com as that's like my my primary email that i use and it just helps me to stay like more organized so you can do that too you know with hostgator um, and i'll show you guys how to do that today okay great so once you get to the control panel it looks like this Obviously, you'll see different, you know, subsections that are here with different offers and the like databases. So what you want to do is just scroll down, guys, to where it says email and you'll see different um, hyperlinks that are here. We're not going to mess with any of these here. The only one that we want to be concerned with right now is just click on email account. So do that with me. Uh, so when you do that, you guys are going to come to a page that looks like this. And so this is great. Now, uh, depending on how many domains that you already have, you know, um, added, you know, to HostGator itself. Um, I'm going to show you guys how you can associate a new email account with a specific domain name itself. OK, great. So what you're going to do right here is what you want to do is type in what the extension is going to be for um, your email account. So, for example, if you wanted to say like support at and then whatever your domain name is like XYZ domain dot com. If you want it to be like contact us at xyzdomain.com, sales at xyz.com, whatever the extension itself that you want to use, that's what you're going to plug in right here. So let me just plug in like sales. Let's say like you have different departments for your business itself, or if you're just a one man or one gal show, um, again, it really doesn't matter. You're going to follow this same process to be able to set up multiple email accounts, you know, with uh, HostGator. OK, so let's suppose that I want to set up an email account for a sales department. And this is just for uh, illustration purposes. OK, now let's say that I want to associate it with uh, my domain name, createawpsite.com. If you have other domain names with HostGator, all you're going to do is simply just click the drop down and you're going to select that domain name that you want to associate uh, this email account with. OK. Uh, pretty simple, right? So once you do that, all you're going to do again is just type in what you want the email account to be, whether it's going to be for sales, contact us, um, 
whatever it is that you wanted to be, that's what you're going to plug in there. Now, what you want to do right here, guys, is you want to plug in a password. For passwords, I recommend typically with my tutorials that you guys uh, use or create an, 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 uh, a password that's probably like eight to 10 characters. Just make it uh, extremely difficult, but something that's easy for you to remember. And as you guys can see here, it says very strong, it's green, that's what you want. Um, you can have a password generated for you, which is which is okay. It's it's a password that has um, you know tons of different you know characters itself, and that's great. But again, you may not remember that. You may have to like copy and paste it, you know, back you know in the the password um, uh, line itself, or just keep it somewhere safe, you know. But I just recommend thinking about something that's easy for you to remember. That's like eight to ten characters and you should be uh, good to go. Now, this next uh, portion right here, guys, you have a lot of flexibility with your HostGator uh, email and like the setup you know, of it. You can uh, specify like how much space you want for each individual email account. Um, you can do like unlimited space, or you can use like the default for 500 megabytes. I'm just gonna leave it as is, guys. When you click on, oh, let me plug in my password again because they're saying that passwords do not match. So I need to plug it in again, forgot that. Good, so it says very strong. So you plug it in the first time, do it again. I forgot that step. And uh, once you do that, guys, just click on create account. And it's really simple, right? So if you drop down, you will see that the account was created. That's what you should see right here with the green check mark. It says account created, right? So now what you wanna do to access it is you can click on more and you can drop down to where it says access webmail, do that. And it's just gonna automatically open up in another browser. And just let me know guys, if you're following this step by step, if you're getting the same screens that I'm getting, you should be. Uh, because this is super easy to set up your uh, HostGator email, okay? Great, so you have two options um, that allow you to access your email itself. You can just use this one right here, set default. You're going to use either of these. It really doesn't matter. Just click on it. And what's going to happen, guys, is on the very next page, you'll see that your email account itself has been set up. So we just give that a few seconds to uh, load. So great, you'll see uh, this is what it looks like. And of course, if you guys are familiar with email, you know, with be it Gmail, Yahoo, uh, whatever the provider is, I mean, you usually have like your setup like this, where you see on the left side, your inbox, drafts, uh, email that you've actually sent, uh, spam, trash. Uh, it basically works the same way, right? And so if you wanted to like test it out, <clears throat> of course you could do, uh, new message. And when you do that, guys, um, it's going to allow you to send email to any address that, um, that, you know, that you want to, right? So if I wanted to send email to myself, like, uh, let's say, I don't know, learnanet.com, learnanet.com, for example. And let's say I just wanted to do like a test email, something like that, right? A test email, Hello, Wally, this is a test email, right? So you could do that, right, if you want, and you can do spell checks, which is great. You know, most email uh, providers have that, and uh, you can just send it, great. You can do attachments. If you have, like, an attachment, that's great, too. And so what you can do is go to your actual email itself, and you can just test it out. Now, what I'll do right now is I'll log into my uh, learningnet.com Gmail, that way you guys can see that this actually works, okay? Great, guys. So I just wanted to take you over to my learningnet.com's uh, email account itself, uh, which is set up, you know, through Gmail. You guys can see that it says test email, right? Sales at create a WP website. This is the actual domain name that I have associated with HostGator. And you can see it says, hey, Wally, this is a test email. So you guys can see that this actually works. Uh, if you want to send email back, let's just do that. I wanted to show you, you know, how this works, right? Right? Good. So I can just hit send. 
boom. And if I go back to my email with HostGator, and you guys will see that, you know, once we log back into our HostGator email, and what do you see right here? So this is the very first email. You just click on it and boom. Hello, Wally. This is the test email. So it's as simple as that, guys. In less than five minutes, I mean, you can just set up your uh, HostGator email. It's super simple. And I just wanted to do this a uh, quick, you know, uh, video tutorial to help you guys uh, see exactly how to do it. As you can see, we just logged into our HostGator account. Uh, with the back end of things and got to the uh, the control panel and clicked on the email section of it as well. And so from that, we were able to set up, you know, our email uh, doing this, guys. So it's very, very simple um, in how to do this, guys. I just wanted to show you, you know, how this uh, works. Uh, all right, guys. So what we're going to do, we've already created our email itself, sales at create a WP site. Uh, what I want you to do right now, I'm going to show you how to forward email uh, to another email itself. Any event you guys uh, want to do this. So if you click back on uh, email on the sidebar, and what you do is just going to take you back to your control panel, and you'll see again all of the options that you have. Uh, great. So if you scroll down with this, just scroll down until you get to the email section itself. You'll see that it says borders. And I just wanted to show you guys again how this works. You have two options, add forwarder or add domain forwarder. So what we're going to do is we're going to forward uh, email itself. Now, we've already created this uh, email account, sales at createawpsite.com, right? Great. So right here, you see destination. And again, you're going to select the email, excuse me, the actual domain name that's associated. So we've only created an email account associated with createawpsite.com, right? Now, right here where it says destination for to email address, you're just going to plug in the actual, the email address that you want to have your email forwarded to. So let's say, for example, I want to forward any email that someone sends me on this site. I want everything to be forwarded to learnernet.com at gmail, right? So again, learnernet.com is my main email address, my main email address that I have with all of my websites, you know, online for WordPress. So anytime someone emails me from any of the websites that I have online, no matter who it's actually, you know, um, uh, hosted with, all of the email is forwarded to one and it's learnernet.com. So if you want to do that also like with HostGator, Again, you're just going to plug in the email itself that you want all of your communications to come from. Uh, you want it to be forwarded to that given email itself. OK, so right there, once you plug in the actual email itself, click on add forwarder. And so what's going to happen right here, you should see something that says this. It says all emails sent to sales at createawpsite.com will now be copied to learnernet.com at gmail.com. So this is amazing. What this means is that if you have your website, uh, xyz.com, and maybe on your contact us page or your sales page, what have you, if you have that email itself, guys, um, the, appearing you know, on that page itself and your client you know, wants to like email you, they'll email you using sales at createwp site.com for example right and what's going to happen is that email is going to come it's going to go directly to learnernet.com at gmail.com uh, itself okay if that makes sense so whatever your email is that you actually plugged in there as the destination that's where you're going to receive all of your email itself guys so again i just wanted to show you you know how that works you know with uh, the setup for your email itself this is very, very simple email. I hope that this uh, video tutorial was uh, helpful for you and that you were able to set up your email uh, for your business online. If you guys have any questions at all about this tutorial, don't hesitate to drop your comments right below. If you got value from this uh, video tutorial, I really appreciate you guys hitting the like button and also uh, subscribing to this channel. That way, future videos that I upload about WordPress and web uh, hosting, you guys will be sure to receive them. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Take care, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.